again, thanks for watching. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Joseph Catrona, and today's topic is a linear static stress analysis. A linear static analysis on a part is the most basic analysis that you're going to run into. For this reason, SolidWorks has given us some very basic user friendly tools to put that kind of a study at the fingertips of almost any user. On the Evaluate tab of the Command Manager, we're going to see a button for a Simulation Express Analysis Wizard. This wizard pops open and, as the name suggests, is going to step us through the steps created to define the study. Now, to define the study, we need to represent this part as it would look in real life usage. So that means we need a fixture, we need a load, and we need to define the material. Now we can see here in the model definition that I don't have a material. That's okay. We can assign the material later specific to this analysis. Now if we need to run an analysis on an assembly with non-static loads or with non-linear materials, this Simulation Express tool is going to be insufficient. But for today's example, a very basic static linear study the first step is to choose our options. Options meaning units. I'll stick with the default of SI units, select OK, and then jump right into the six step process. First things first, I need to, to, to define a fixture. There's a button to add a fixture. The properties manager comes alive and asks me with some visual, with some graphic examples, by mousing over the box I can see it's asking me for faces. Well, in real life usage, this would be connected to a steering stem. And these two faces can represent a fixture, uh, a, a non movable face. I'll select OK and choose Next to jump to the second part, which is loading. I have two options adding a force or a pressure. A force is obviously appropriate for this steering wheel assembly, or part rather. So I'll choose add a force and once again the properties manager begins to ask me some questions. The force should be applied to what faces? Let's apply it to this face, but not in the normal direction. The graphical simulation arrows tell me what's going on, give me a little bit of an indication to help me understand what I'm defining. And I can see that that is acting almost as a pressure pushing on the faces, that cylindrical face. That's not what I want. I want to select my own direction. SolidWorks asks for a plane to define a direction. I'll choose the right plane and we can see those arrows straighten out and start to point in the direction I need. Maybe I need to reverse that direction and then define the magnitude of that force. I'll say maybe 3500 newtons and choose OK. The next step is to define a material. As mentioned, I can choose the material either in the parts definition or just choose material specific for this example. I'll take a basic alloy steel and say apply, close, and next. The next step is to either go back and change some settings or run the simulation. After SolidWorks meshes the part, and runs the numerical analysis, it's going to show me an animation of the deformation. Basically the question here is, is this deforming as you'd expect? Somewhat of a safety net. If this is deforming as you'd expect, although greatly scaled up, but it should be deforming in a way that you'd expect when that force is applied in the right direction. And again, this is just giving me a second check to make sure I've set things up correctly. I can say yes, it is deforming as I expected, and take a look at the results. Now the next part in any analysis is to start understanding those results, defining and reading results plots, stress plot, displacement plot, and so on. For more advanced examples, feel free to browse our YouTube channel or contact your sales rep for simulation training. But that's a very basic example of a linear static analysis. If you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment, or if you have 
requests for simulation videos you'd like to see in the future, also please leave us a comment. Hope you've enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.